Are you a very selfish person? Are you arrogant? Are you hateful? Do you look down upon people as in see yourself as greater? Do you treat people with so much disrespect? If you do, how can you expect bad things not to happen to you? Think about that. The way you are, the way you behave, why would you believe what you put out won't return to you? You see, I don't do everything right. I make mistakes. I make errors in judgment. Yet, I think to myself and I think to myself many times about if I choose to do wrong, wrong things, bad things will happen to me. So if I am purposely doing evil, being selfish, people asking me for help and every time I am saying no or lying to them saying I am busy, how am I busy? all the time, but I am lying for an example, which I am not saying I do this, but I am lying saying I am busy. But when I need help, when I need someone there, I am calling people and asking for help. And I am not saying that I am that way, but I am trying to paint a picture. So if I was that way, wanting people to help me, but not willing to help others, what type of person am I? Why would anyone want to be around me if I am that type of person? Like, thinking people should cater to me, but I am too good to help others. Think about that. I believe much of what happens to us on this earth, I think much of it comes to us based upon how we are on this earth. How can you separate what happens to you on this earth and your behavior? Yes, I believe even if you are a Christian, a true Christian, yes, I believe bad things will happen to you. Besides that, I think much of what happens to us is dependent upon how we behave on this earth. So I may not do everything right, but I believe I try to do what is right. Sometimes people ask me for help and most of the time, or should I say 70% of the time, I don't really want to do it, but I believe most times it comes to my mind, I better do it. Because if I want God to show mercy to me, shouldn't I be merciful to others? Yes, that person may have been rude to me. Yes, that person may be going around saying I am evil and whatever else, lying about me. But if 
I have a relationship with God. If I can discern, I guess I can say the Holy Spirit's voice. Not to say, you know, I can discern it very well. Hey, no matter how, no matter how that person treated me, if it is for me to help that person, let me do it. Right? Don't we all make mistakes? You may be living for God now. But how were you before you were living with God? I mean, living with God. How were you before you started living for God? I know myself, I was very evil. Yes, I may have not killed a person. I may have not, you know, did really, really, really bad things, but I did evil things. I was rude. I was hateful. I was a liar, thief, and so many other things, perhaps. So if someone is doing me how I did other people, or maybe worse, shouldn't I have a bit of compassion for that person? I think some people, I think there are some people that have done so much wrong in their life. So when someone does them wrong, they see it as a great, they may see it as a great surprise. Like, why is this person doing me wrong? But my Lord, what have you done? Be merciful to people. Sometimes what I do, if I am kind of confused about what to do, I pray about it sometimes. Or I may, yes, I think sometimes I pray about it and wait for a clear answer to come to me. And if I wait about it and no clear answer comes to me, I may go with a solution that seems fair, even though I may be a bit confused. But I think we should practice being merciful. At this point of time, I help some people I may not want to help. But listen now, what happens to us in our lives, I think, I honestly think, it is no coincidence. So if the Bible tells me, and I believe it is in Matthew chapter 5, and I may not say it right, blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy, or something like that. Now, if the Bible says that, and if I practice being merciful, <laughs> I think I will receive mercy, right? And, man, your life may be going well right now, but how do you know you won't need mercy? How do you know? I have been getting, I am not rich. I don't make $100,000 a year. I am not a millionaire, but I have been getting blessed so much. Some things, some people may see as small, but I see it, I won't say I see it as huge, but I appreciate it. So I pray that this makes sense. 
God bless you.